what's going on guys uh back to work on a project not doing the x-wing helmet yet um been super busy just haven't been able to get to anything i am going to do this uh detention center monitor that's what all this stuff is i've got six patterson tridents i have a tv wall mount and the uh the backing plate and all the other greeblies and lights and poles and whatever that go on it um but the reason why I'm starting this is for well, two reasons. Um, the cats seem to like climbing this pile of stuff, which I don't want them to knock any of these pirates and tridents over and break them because they are old plastic. And we've learned before that old plastic is brittle. Um, more on that later. And uh, the other part is that the temperature is dropping and I need to spray paint that back plate black. Um, and I don't know when the temperature is gonna be above 50 degrees um, again. So, um, it'll probably be a week um today's like it was in the 80s and tomorrow it's only going to be about 40 i think for the high it's going to get i think down to freezing or near that so um, quite a drop in temperature but i need to get that uh, back plate painted um, because spray painting under 50 de degrees doesn't work terribly well so i am actually gonna put on a headlamp and go outside because it is nighttime um, you can see it's dark in the window right there. Um, it's kind of like 9:30-ish, maybe 10. So I'm gonna I'm gonna paint that back plate in the dark, but I got a headlamp so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna use a flat black, um, just do a single coat, and uh, hope for the best. And I'm gonna bring it back in here to degas. I'm gonna hang it on my trusty little hanger I used to use for um, uh, electrolysis, which I use copper wire now, so I don't need this piece anymore. Anyway. And my color of choice, uh, flat black. Um, I do have a bunch of satin I thought about using, but uh, I'd rather use flat. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> it's upside down. All right, so my flat paint, my flat black spray paint, the nozzle was completely clogged up on it. Couldn't use it, so I had to switch to satin black. So not a huge deal. It's gonna be behind. Not gonna see it. I don't need that anymore. Um, but I think it turned out. I got a couple runs because um, I was trying to make sure it's all covered. And it's really hard to see with just this. I couldn't tell if it was the flat paint that I. Used this kind of splattered out showing through or the metal and the, the sheen was different and anyway that's my that's my excuse uh, not that you're gonna see the runs because it's gonna be on the back side um, so the next thing I got to do I need to put together this little template here um, this is for marking the holes on the back of the Patterson Trident basically um, this little inset, this little ring, glues onto here and it creates a little uh, recess that the back of the Patterson can sit in there and then you have a drill guide. So it'll match up with the holes on our back plate. Um, so I need to make this. Um, this is made out of acrylic. I've, luckily I have several different kinds of acrylic um, cement and so um, just need to peel off the paper, acrylic cement, stick it together and glue. Pretty easy.
All right, with those things drying, that's all I'm going to do tonight. Um, I've got some other prep work i got to do, but it's going to be noisy. My girlfriend's already in bed, um, so I don't want to wake her up. Um, so that's all I'm going to do for tonight. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to talk about the um, drilling those holes in the back of those Pattersons. Um, did a little research on a uh, best way to do that. So we're going to do some experiments. We're going to do some tool modification. And uh, so I'm going to be back in just a moment. Enjoy this segue. Voila. Um, got that painted. Looks pretty good. Um, happy with how that turned out. Um, and we have the cutting or the drilling template for the, uh, um, the Patterson Trident viewers. Um, ready to go. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, this just lines up on the back of one of these. As you can see, the, it, it has room for the little tab there. And now we can drill our holes into the back here and they will line up with the... Um, <laughs> I don't have enough close counter space here. But they, uh, they line up with the holes on here. So that way everything is properly spaced and makes things a whole lot easier. Um, this is awesome. This is an awesome thing to have um, if you're building this. Um, kind of a, a must have really. Um, but as I mentioned before, um, this is a hard plastic. It doesn't have a lot of flex, um, which means it's going to be brittle. Um, and it's old, so it's also going to be brittle because of that. Um, so drilling with the standard drill bit, which you can see is, is um, I don't think it'll focus on it. Not with any light. Anyways, they're pretty blunt. Um, they, they, the, top, the tip of the bit is kind of like that. It's kind of like about that sort of an angle. And works fine from wood, works fine from metal, but for some reason plastic, it, that bluntness causes chipping, causes cracking. Um, so I did a little research and I found a guy who was working with acrylic and he said the thing to do is take your, your drill bit and you want to put it, you want to reshape it so it's more pointed, a lot you know, sharper angle. And so how you do that is you put it in a drill, you put it uh, in the reverse direction, like you're backing out, and then you take a, uh, like a belt sander or a disc sander or something like that, and you run it backwards against at the angle you want, and that will shave off that little bit um, to make the um, drill more pointed. Um, he said you could also use a step drill bit, but because the holes we're trying to drill are not very big, um, it doesn't make sense to do that. The other thing he said is you want to use lubrication. He said he uses dish soap and that works really well for him. Um, and I watched a video of him doing that. Um, and it did work. He got clean holes in acrylic and it didn't chip or crack at all. And it was, it was great. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm hoping that this will work for this plastic for these uh, Patterson viewers. Um, anyways, we're going we're gonna to have a little experiment. If, if it doesn't work for one, well then the only thing I'm out is a drill bit that I probably need to replace anyway. All right, well, I'd say that worked. Um, it's much pointier. Um, so now I'm gonna get a little dish soap and I'm gonna try drilling one of those um, Pattersons with the, with the guide. Wish me luck.
but it didn't crack or chip. Let's see how we got here. It's not bad, it could be better. Well, I would say that is a, a success. Uh, I mean, it's only one hole. I've got a lot more to go, 23 more to go. So um, I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna finish drilling this one out and then uh, actually I gotta go see about dinner. But uh, so far, that's a really nice clean hole. Um, I did have to trim it up with the X-Acto knife, of course, but um, it went right through. It didn't even act like it was going to crack. Um, it's kind of weird to watch it foam up like that. That's interesting. I am happy with that. Um, very, very clean holes. Uh, not really any chipping. There's some. There's one that's got like a little bit of damage, but I think I did that with X-Acto blade. So um, pretty happy with that. It does kind of get some crap on the inside. You got to wipe out, and there's a couple spots that are real hard to get to. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to cut this video off. Uh, it's. I've already shot the whole thing, um, but. Uh, I was editing and I'm not even kidding that if I put it all together it would be a well over an hour. Um, so this just seemed like a natural place to break <laughs> uh, this into a smaller piece. Um, check out the blog propchopshop.com. Um, you can hit me up on the RPF as New Magrathea. Um, if you really got to get in touch with me you can hit me up on Facebook although I'm not on Facebook that much. Um, just here and there. I've been really busy, so I'm not the greatest about getting back on things uh, lately, but um, if you need me, shoot me a message. I'll get back to you probably eventually. Um, just been really busy. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one, which will be coming shortly.